President Trump. <clears throat> It'd be best if you end NAFTA. End it completely. There's an old saying that so-called American companies say that it will be a conflict of interest in regarding to our investments. <laughs> Tricky dick. <clears throat> Tricky dick forgot to do one thing. He forgot to consult with the council when he went over there to China. Oh well. Speaking of those American companies that said that it would be to the best interest for President Trump not to end NAFTA due to their investments. When speaking of a bumblebee tuna, stark kiss tuna, and chicken of the sea, you would think that they're American companies, wouldn't you? <laughs> no. They're foreign companies based in America. So are these the American companies you're saying, referring to, that it would be best interest that to stay in NAFTA because due to our American investors? The American investors in regard to the American companies are the foreign companies. So there you have it. So it would be best to pull out of NAFTA completely. And if you don't pull out of NAFTA, it has to be a war. It has to be a complete war. So the best thing to do is to pull out of NAFTA, completely. I mean, we only speaking of Mexico and Canada. And keep in mind, we're speaking of the same Mexico that the previous president had bailed out the peso. Remember Clinton? Mexico economy was in ruins. And Bill Clinton, the imbecile, took $20 billion and bailed out the Mexico peso. But it wasn't for the people, it was for the bankers. So there you have it. And who are the bankers? Case in point. Pull out a NAFTA. And do it as smoothly, as quickly as you can. Because they don't, they're not going to want to negotiate. Especially when they got a golden goose. An unmistakably golden goose. As I say, an unmistakably golden goose. By an unmistakably imbecile. From Arkansas. $35,000 a year governor. <laughs> I gotta go.